catastrophic tornadoes tearing through the Midwest and the South. At least six people were killed, including two in Arkansas, where the governor has declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard. In central Indiana, three people were also killed when a tornado touched down late Friday evening in Sullivan County. The powerful storm swept across the state and leveled homes and crushed cars. The storm also left a trail of destruction in Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee and Iowa. And the threat is not over yet. According to the National Weather Service, more than 28 million people remain under tornado watch today. Roxana Saberi is in Davenport, Iowa, with the latest on all of this. Roxana, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. The winds are still going strong here in Iowa as authorities assess the damage from the tornadoes that ripped across the state yesterday. There were evacuations and rescues, but this massive nearly 900 mile long storm system brought deaths in at least three states. One person was killed and dozens more hurt when a tornado plowed into a crowded theater in Belvedere, Illinois. More than 250 people were attending a heavy metal concert when the twister collapsed the building about 70 miles northwest of Chicago. It's crazy to think. I've gone to so many shows here. I know so many friends who go here all the time, and it's crazy to think that the roof caved in. An afternoon tornado also shredded Little Rock, Arkansas. It touched down in the western part of the capital city, leveling homes and a shopping center. Meteorologists describe the storm as catastrophic. Witnesses describe a fast-moving, high-pressure storm. Weather warning came on, and then the lights went out, and we heard everybody running downstairs, and it came over, and the pressure in my ears dropped and it got really weird. It was devastating. It was, uh, say, if you was in an airplane and, and had to take a uh, higher attitude and your ears seems like they're about to blow, that's what it felt like. It was a lot of pressure. It was quick, though. At least two people were killed in Wynn, Arkansas, just to the west of Memphis. The tornado flattened the town's high school and left residents there without power. Two tornadoes on the ground. Storms hammered communities like this all throughout the nation's midsection on Friday. And they come less than a week after a tornado killed at least 21 people in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. President Biden visited that community Friday, promising help. As you fight through this, you're not alone. The American people will be with you. They'll help you through it, and so will I. The president announced the government will pay 100 percent of the recovery as well as shelter and cleanup costs for the next 30 days in Rolling Fork. But now, of course, this latest line of storms will mean even more people in more places need help. Nancy. Roxana, thank you.